Grenada is gearing up to host international cricket next month, which will feature West Indies taking on England at the National Stadium. A cultural extravaganza is one of the showpieces on the agenda, designed to entertain visitors and virtual viewers alike. Playwright Ricardo Kings Douglas is the man planning this cultural explosion, and he says this is a moment for Grenadians to release the pent-up energy from COVID-19. The excitement of this thing is that we want to showcase our culture. So what we want to do is have a mini parade on the opening of uh, cricket, the, the day of the cricket. So we're going to have like short knees, a, a, a section of short knees, Veko, Moko Jumbies, ballet dancers. Um, we're bringing in Shakespeare mass, hopefully. They can come in. We have the um, string band. We have a, a float, a beautiful float with a um, steel band on it. Um, we have jab jab, of course. We have the fancy mass. So what we want to do is to create this massive, beautiful, you know, controlled way parade. Um, so that will open, give the excitement of the opening of the day, on the day. Now, throughout the cricket period, which is the 24th to the 28th, there will be many shows within the stadium. And so some days we'll uh, showcase uh, ballet dancers with short knees. Some, case we'll, some days we'll showcase the mocha jumbies. Some case, days we showcase Vaco. So it's going to be an excitement on the breaks. So normally on the lunch break, when they go for their, um, their, their, their lunch, it's a 45-minute lunch break. So we have 30 minutes to show the world and the wonderful people in the world, all the, um, the, the, the people who came, the visitors and stuff, the excitement, what we have to offer. Kings Douglas said on the outside of the stadium, there will be a fan zone where local art and crafts will be on display and for sale. Addressing the Grenada Tourism Authority's presser earlier today, he noted that while attendance is desired, only the fully vaccinated will be allowed in. Everybody who enters the stadium must be vaccinated. Right. Also, all those who would like to participate in this magnificent, wonderful experience of the Carnival Parade must be vaccinated as well. Right. So I'm calling on all those who would like to participate out there. You must be vaccinated. If you want to be part of this carnival, mini carnival event, you can be part of it. You can be a jab jab, you can be a short knee, a ballet dancer, moko jumbies, all the moko jumbies out there, the veko, um, all of these people out there who would like to participate. And it's a little job. You'll get a little remuneration for, for it. Chief Executive Officer of the GTA, Petra Roach, said this will be a wonderful experience for Grenada to showcase uniquely Grenadian products. Anybody who's got a small cottage industry where they make, you know, very authentic things. We don't want people to come here and be buying things that are made in China. We want people to come here and actually buy authentic, locally made souvenirs to take back with them. So we're going to be creating that little um, museum and place where people can buy the local art and the local clothing and local soaps, etc. Because ultimately, this is who we are. The highly anticipated test series for the newly minted Richards Botham Trophy will start appropriately at the Sir Vivian Richards Cricket Ground in Antigua on March 8th. The action then moves to the Kensington Oval in Barbados for the second test match, March 16th to 20th, with the third test match here in Grenada at the National Stadium, March 24th to 28th. For GBN News, Janelle MacDonald.